Hello everybody, my name is David and today we're going to talk about a recently acquired Smith & Wesson Model 586. I had uh, a weapon just like this a number of years ago but foolishly traded it away. And like many of us, we suffer a little bit of heartburn when we have second thoughts about selling or trading a gun that we wish we hadn't. Uh, beginning of the summer, I began doing an online search and I finally found a 4-inch 586 that I was comfortable buying. Um, this is a 1984 manufacturer pre-lock 586 no dash. These revolvers uh, pre-lock are becoming very difficult to find because of the poor quality and the MIM parts, the MIM parts that are coming with the classic line that Smith & Wesson is currently producing. A number of uh, 586s that I found online are 6 and 8 inch barrel which don't appeal to me at all. Um, however, if uh, you can't find a 4 inch barrel and that's what you desire, you can buy the 6 or the 8 inch barrel go to Numric, uh, Brownells, or Midway and buy a 4-inch barrel and have your gunsmith install it for probably not more than $60 to $100. That would probably be the best way to get into a 4-inch if that's what you're looking for. Um, I really enjoy shooting this 586. The recoil is so much easier to control and acquire a new target than it is on my 45 ACP. Um, I especially like uh, uh, the variety of ammunition that's available for 357 and a 38 special. Um, this particular uh, 586, I've decided to carry the Remington 158 grain semi jacketed hollow point. This particular uh, ammunition had been around for quite some time. Remington has rebranded and repackaged it, but it's the same ammunition that they've carried for a number of years. It's an old standard. Uh, this weapon is so easy to shoot and uh, I've decided to include it in my rotation of concealed carry, uh, which includes the government model 45, the XDS and the 45, and this one here. Uh, for those of you who are uh, big fans of the semi-automatic and don't think very much of revolvers, uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to try one and give it a chance. Uh, you might find that you, that you like it. I prefer uh, the revolver over the 45, but I've got two or three of them that I'll keep. Uh, this particular weapon is not necessarily the easiest to conceal carry because of the size, but I found that when I wear a black t-shirt one size larger than I normally wear, it's very concealable and most people just have no idea that I'm carrying a weapon that big. Uh, so if you're having trouble trying to, trying to hide um, a, a, a weapon that, uh, that you want to carry, uh, try a black t-shirt in a larger size and it's uh, a lot easier to conceal. Now you are going to have to spend some time practicing pulling that shirt out of the way and drawing your weapon. Um, and that's going to be, uh, uh, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, but if you work at it on a regular basis, you'll be able to, to clear the t-shirt and clear the holster and get your weapon at the ready. Uh, another thing is uh, being able to reload with the speed loader. Not the easiest thing in the world to reload with a speed loader as it can be with a semi-automatic, but Mike Mikulik can fire six rounds, reload with a speed loader, and fire six more rounds, I think in under four seconds. Uh, I don't ever expect to be as fast as he is, but I expect to be proficient enough to, uh, to defend myself and reload if I have to. So this is my 586. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, it's a short one today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I hope to have some uh, videos in the future out of the uh, shooting club. Um, and um, we'll see where we go from here.